Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Tershorto. Today, I'm going to be covering the content update of February 20th, 2019. And uh, it's the release of the reworks for General Grievous, the IG-100 Magna Guard, which has a whole new stance, which is kind of cool and not... It would have liked the the cape, but like a lot of people, so... And we got the Droidica. Um, so yeah, all that right there. Uh, we got some new pack changes. The pack probability has been updated to include marquee mega packs. Uh, we're forcing an update. Android Android players, like myself, got a new 14.2 client. This client provides faster, more efficient sign-in. And it does not impact iOS players. I'm sure they'll add some more or an update for you guys later. Um, the Droidica Cup marquee event starts tomorrow, the 21st. Uh, we also are getting a shard shuffle. Uh, so we're adding in Jahani's farmable on light side battles 6A, replacing Luminar on Dooley. She's still farmable in these locations here. And then, of course, Cartho Nasty is now farmable fleets 2E. He doesn't replace anyone. It's a brand new spot. However, yeah, that energy is cost is going to be 20 a piece. So, yeah, I'm going to probably start farming Karth at least. Jahani is going to be a little bit on the back burner for a little bit. Even though, yes, there is rumors that Grieve, or Darth Revan is coming. I'll get to that in a sec. Um, I'm just going to skim through packs and bundles. The link to this post is in the uh, forum post is, in the, is going to be in the description below. So, yep. Um, got numerous fixes as well. Even to the B1 and B2. We even got a fix to General Kenobi. So, yeah, we got a ton of fixes. Uh, we also got known issues ground assault and defense of dathomir the pve versions of the b2 super battle droid ig100 magna guard and general grievous have been unintentionally affected by a recent reworks and have and have consequently made the ground assault on defense of death or and defense of dathomir events so much more difficult we will identify the players affected by the increased difficulty in the events and provide rewards sometime next week it should be noted that these versions uh, the versions of these units are in the AAT raid have not been affected so those Magna Guards uh, it makes me wonder if they've changed at least the stance of the AAT Magna Guard but who knows uh, we'll also be reverting the PVE units in their those events in their previous versions so yeah if they were I didn't have any problems with the ground, ground assault or the defense of Dathomir where I was able to get my two Zetas um, so I had no problems, no problems. So I think it was just because of the fact that, of course, their B1 wasn't as the current B1. It's a little different. And then, of course, we're still planning on changing Finn's kit to prevent the infinite loop with 3PO in a future update. So we, I've already covered the Finn's kit, but we're yet to see the rework. I thought it was going to be today, but it's not. So, but yes, going back to this though, with Karth and Johanna, there's a lot of rumors going around. And one thing that helps it is in mobile gamers, video I'm just going to show this was posted by yeah but it's no skywalker on uh, reddit um that this happened he, it was in the middle of warriors what it was warriors channel i want to make sure i was correct yeah warriors video that he was facing and look at this uh gamorian guard three triple zeta gamorian guard what do they do just a really you know take his basic special and a special drop it back and give Zetas. Now, a lot of people are predicting, and I'm fortunately and unfortunately predicting this is going to be Darth Revan. I was hoping more for Darth Malak first, save Darth Revan for a little bit later, when, you know, the game's starting to get a little lower. Give us a reason to, ooh, let's get back into this. Darth Revan's back. But we also do see HK-47 with the Zetas, so I'm sh we're sure he'll probably get a rework soon. Maybe sometime next week, I hope sometime next week and i also hope to see some changes this week with the arena um but yeah we got these little teams uh we also got this triumvirate team it's with a the this con considerable revan but we don't have treya could he be a better treya or could it be that this person just is subbing him in for treya since treya sometimes like i just recently unlocked my treya so some people are still unlocking them because of the guild that they are in so maybe that's the reason who knows who knows so but yeah that was kind of cool to see but yeah there, everyone's predicting the darth revan's coming and hk rework is going to happen i do hope hk rework happens because he's been needing it especially since 
well, since the beginning, but really just because I'd say since um, July of last year when the first wave of KOTOR characters came in. And even if not the first wave, the second wave would have been just as great, but we still have yet to get them. So hopefully, hopefully by the end of this month or the beginning of March, we will get an HK rework. Other than, other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for the changes that are coming? Are, are you excited if Revan, Darth Revan comes to the game? We already have Jedi Knight Revan, so we'll have to see how that goes. We're going to see so many masked Revans in the arena. It's going to be Revan, Revan, some Treyas. <laughs> some Talzins probably may pop back up. A Grievous. Uh, who knows? But other than that, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those watch the videos I make. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share to help support my channel. And all you have a wonderful day.